After being abandoned and betrayed by his ex-girlfriend, he ends up in a post-apocalyptic world. There he finds several kinds of valuable objects and brings them back with him to his world, becoming a multi-millionaire, and, on top of that, meeting beautiful damsels that would accompany him until the end of his life. We begin with a brief introduction of our protagonist, named Wang Bin. Apparently the girls at school were always after him, but since he already had a girlfriend, he ended up rejecting all the girls. Although he appeared to be successful in life, he was nothing more than a worker who worked his ass off to support the whims of his girlfriend. In the end, she was just using him to have a few perks. Not only that, but our young protagonist was quite skilled with games as well, and when he finally finishes the game that he spent almost a month to finish, he is faced with a sudden announcement. In the message it said that he was the only player who finished this test in the shortest time, so he was chosen to be able to participate in an apocalyptic world. But there he had the chance to lose his life, so if he died he wouldn't be able to return to the real world. Wang Bin apparently became relatively excited with this announcement, and soon thought that if he managed to survive he would gain many rewards. In the end he accepts to participate in this world, but is disgusted when he realizes that nothing happened right away. A short time later he receives another message, explaining some rules of that world, and one of them said that the proportion of time there was 1 to 7. That is, one day in the real world was equal to 7 days in the apocalyptic world. In addition, the journey to the new world would start in exactly 4 hours hours, so he had better prepare himself. When he looks at his wallet he realizes that he has practically no money, but he still has a few things to buy and prepare himself better. He remembers that last week he overdid it on a date with his current girlfriend, and decides to borrow some from his friends. Speaking of them, they were having some fun playing some kind of computer game, until suddenly Wang Bin shows up paying them a visit. Before the protagonist could even borrow the money, his friends had already given him everything they had with them at the time. Since he had arrived so late at night to look for him, his friends already thought that something good would happen that night for Wang Bin. But in reality it was not as they were thinking, and he swears that when he returns from the apocalyptic world and makes a fortune, he will let his two friends enjoy it too. It doesn't take long before he had his things ready to enter the apocalyptic world, and here he was a little worried about his girlfriend, because she would be gone for a whole day. When he calls her, she tries to tell him that she has something to tell him, but he interrupts what she has to say. When they hang up the phone we already see that she was with her new escort, and let's say I don't need to tell you what happened here, right? Just look at the rocking car in the background. Suddenly Wang Bin was teleported to the apocalyptic world, and only then did he finally believe the message he had received earlier. He decides to look outside to see what information he can find about the new world he is in, and realizes that there are thousands of zombies waiting for a new victim. But this did not shake him, and finally he decides to explore the place to see what he can find of riches to take with him. Initially things were going well enough, but at a certain point he begins to feel a presence following him. This is only further confirmed when he sees a suspicious shadow sneaking up to watch him, and is in doubt whether it was a zombie or a human. Only then does he remember that a human in an apocalyptic world was much worse than a zombie. After that he starts running desperately for his life, so that he can find a safer place to stay. But when he hears a strange noise, he decides to look up, which is where the noise was coming from. He sees two little blue birds, but soon we see that it was actually the beautiful silhouette of a woman. She was telling him to leave his survival items there, in case he wanted to survive. She gave him only three seconds to drop his things and leave, and at the last second he managed to hit her dagger and finally get some distance between them, opening even a chance to be able to attack the girl, or at least that's what he had thought. After all, she soon hit his blind spots and threw him away like it was nothing. Again he was in her hands, and when he tells her that he had a few things that would be enough for both of them if she would cooperate, she ended up salivating from being so hungry, especially hearing what he had with him. With this she opened an opportunity for him to take his stun gun out of his pocket, and finally managed to hit her, thus giving him the opportunity he needed to survive there. Wang Bin says that even if she was hungry, she couldn't rob him or threaten him. After this he hands her some supplies, so that she can satisfy her hunger a little. But in exchange he would take the dagger she had with her. The mysterious girl, realizing the quality of the products she had there to eat, wonders who was the protagonist to have all this stuff still within its shelf life. Outside he thought he had to find a place quickly to hide, but his peace was short-lived, as some looters appeared next, wanting what he had in his bag. 
before he could talk to them. One of the looters quickly began to attack our protagonist with a stick he had with him. But Wang Bin managed to fight back and ended up cutting the arm of the guy who had attacked him. Since the smell of red juice would attract even more zombies to the place where they were, Wang Bin took the opportunity to run away from there as if there was no tomorrow. But he ended up in a dead end, which caused him to feel desperate, thinking that this was the end of his journey in this new world. A short time later the marauders arrived again, surrounding the protagonist. But to his surprise the beautiful maiden from before was watching from above. Before he could notice, she begins to act silently so as not to alert the marauders. Before he could warn them, she asked him to be quiet. But as soon as she knocked the first one down, they realized that something wasn't right there. She even managed to hit another one of them as well. But since she was too hard-headed, she couldn't put him out yet. She then asks Wang Bin for her dagger back, and he throws it to the beautiful maiden, whether they were friends or not. Even because it was better to die at the hands of a sister than to be devoured by her brother. That didn't make much sense to me either, but let's move on. As soon as she takes her dagger back she manages to make the big guy take a nap, thus hitting his weak point. Even Wang Bin was frightened by the situation he had just been through. When he realized that they wouldn't stand a chance, one of the bandits ran away in order to survive. And when the protagonist decided to go after him so that he wouldn't alert his companions, she pulled him close. She said that now was not the right time for this, and asked him to go with her to a safer place, since due to the great recent movement, that place would soon be full of zombies. Seeing the way she acted, he thinks his bet had paid off, since she seemed to be a really good person. It doesn't take long before they finally reach the place she was staying, but soon he was in the hands of the beautiful beautiful maiden once again. He asked if they couldn't be partners, but she asked him to throw his stun gun on the ground. When he finally did as she asked, she ended up kicking his stun gun away, thus showing us that she possibly had a bit of a grudge against him. After this Wang Bin says that as long as they are together, he could offer her various delicious foods, and takes out of his bag almost everything he had brought to spend his days there. Or maybe this is just a little of what he actually took. As long as she let him stay there, he would give her all of it. From her hungry face you could see that she was tempted to accept this proposal. He then reveals that this was actually half of his stock, and since he couldn't tell her where he got it all, he asks her to believe him. The protagonist says that he would only need to stay there for seven days, and if they met again he would give her much more food. After a little trepidation about letting him stay there, in the end she accepted. But he could not enter her room without her permission. Clearly he accepted this agreement and introduced himself by telling her his name. But she still did not trust him enough to shake his hand, but still asks him to call her Zioyu. While he rested for a while in the room he stayed in, he began to search the place to see if he could find some jewelry, and a short time later he finally found it. Here not even he could believe the things he had just found, not least because if he could sell everything he had there, he would already be a rich man in the real world. He even thought that he might be in the prime of his life and finally get to propose to his girlfriend. But since the poor guy didn't know yet that he was getting a nice pair of horns at this very moment, he kept dreaming about this moment. After that he decides to ask Zioi if he could take those things with him. But let's just say he had an angelic vision at that moment, and is embarrassed and afraid of what she might do now. But he quickly walks away apologizing for what just happened. He asks if she could sell him the jewels that were in that room. But she says that he could keep them all, since no one there wants those things. As this was a wealthy area, he could find many of those jewels in the surrounding houses. He replies that those things were very useful to him, and since he had given her so much food, as soon as she finished eating she would take him to find more of them. A few minutes later he managed to find even more jewelry, and asks young Zioyu if she really didn't want those things. As they were standing there, she remembered that there was a large safe in the room, and asked if he didn't want to take a look there too. Arriving at the safe, he didn't have much difficulty in opening it, and inside he notices that there were several precious things, besides money, luxury jewelry and gold bars. As he admired the jewelry he had just found, she says that those things were useless there. Besides, even the candy she had on hand was much better than those jewels. Wang Bin then replies by saying that he had a way to get those jewels, to be exchanged for more of the food she was eating. This ended up further arousing young Zioyu's interest in helping him to get more food. The protagonist then began to doubt whether he would meet her again the next time he entered that world, and asks the system in his thoughts where he would appear the next time he went back there. The system replies that he would return to 100 meters from the last place he was last time. 
Wang Bin told her that as long as she continued helping him, he would bring her all kinds of delicious food to try, and she became even more excited, asking him not to break his promise. She reveals that food there in the world was basically something like rats, since food like that in his backpack was considered real luxury food. When he asks why she doesn't plant the food and build a strong defense network herself, she replies that the government had managed to create several safe places for her to survive. But this was after many years of building, and there the zombies could not attack at all. But still, not just anyone could get in there. At one point she asks him what he does for a living, and if it was really possible to make those jewels be replaced by food. Wang Bin answers that he was a businessman from far away, and his job was precisely to collect these precious goods, so that he could trade them with high-class living people. Xiaoyu replied that she would take him there during the day, but at night he was not to go out alone, because she had set too many traps nearby. And right after she said this, someone stepped on one of the traps she had set. Looking out the window, he discovers that it was the gang they had been attacked by before, and this was the sign they needed to be able to leave the place they were currently in. Their leader wanted the girl alive, since she had the courage to face them before. As she observed the situation more closely, she remembered that they must possibly have recognized her because of her recent regular activities nearby. So they really had no way to stay there anymore, and would need to find a new safe place from now on. Some time later, they found a luxurious house to stay in, but even there there were many zombies on the second floor. But since the stairs were inaccessible, it was a relatively safe place for them to stay. Although for Wang Bin it would be a little difficult to sleep with the sounds the zombies made. The beautiful maiden calls him a coward, since as long as they didn't make any noise, the zombies wouldn't come up to where they were. Since he doesn't have much else to do, he decides to keep playing on his cell phone so he doesn't hear the zombies. When she asks if he still has music on his cell phone, he answers yes and asks if she would like to listen to it. As it had been a long time since she had heard anything like that, she asks if she could really afford to listen to a song, so our protagonist gave her a headset so she could listen to it. Seeing that she was relatively happy to be having this experience again, he thinks that because of the many things she has been through before, this would be the moment when she would go back to being a normal girl, even if only for a moment, since in that world this kind of thing didn't exist. After this he decided to sit next to her so he could listen to the music with her, and soon we see the beautiful maiden with tears in her eyes, remembering possibly a happy moment in her childhood, when she and her mother and father enjoyed a day of pure happiness and play. Noticing that she was crying, he asks her what had happened. She then replies that she hasn't heard music for many years, and she remembered when she was still with her parents. Only then did Wang Bin realize that she must have suffered many things to have managed to survive all this time. After this revelation, he put the headset back on the beautiful lady, asking them to at least finish listening to that song together. And since she liked music so much, he said that next time he would bring her a cell phone, and more portable batteries as well. With that she thanks him with a beautiful smile on her face, thus warming the poor heart of our protagonist. But for him, he already had a girlfriend, so he couldn't think of having anything with that beautiful girl in front of him, who was even more beautiful than his current girlfriend, who would soon become his ex. And while they were listening to the music, they both ended up falling asleep next to each other. And if I can confess one thing here, it's that I think they make a better couple than he and his current rattlesnake. If you want to see the continuation of this story, don't forget to empower it with your like. If this video does well, I will probably bring the continuation of it as well. It is always an honor and privilege for me to have you with me so far. I wish you and your family all the best and see you next time.